Hello there, I'm Algeon, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, Aztec Sunset Invasion. We are now in 1468, played for a couple of years. All that really happened was I just desperately hoped for this bloody heir to die. And he's still alive, and the king is age 48, so he's probably going to die in a few seconds. Which is going to suck. And the heir is still alive. He's a great general though, so that's good. But, you know, it would be nice. It would be nice. We are going to declare war on Mixtec. And that's going to be great. And as you can see, uh, I tried allying with Itza so they would help me in my battle and my war, but it didn't work, which sucked. So they're going to break the alliance instantaneously. And they're, and we're going to call in Kolima as uh, an actual co-belligerent. There we are. So we're going to have to fight against Kolima, Mixtec, Zayo, and Itza. And it's going to be pretty fun. We'll be able to beat chance them pretty handily. Let's do it. Uh, we got Mixtec. Three. Two. Is everything alright? Yeah. Alright, let's crush their armies as quickly as possible. Oh, they actually have 22,000 men, but we'll wipe them all out. Whoa, they're fast. What the shit? Hey, if you guys could uh, come help me, that'd be great. There we go. Wow, we instantly killed all of them. It's not even a contest. For some reason, Tarasan is just kind of sitting there. Hey, gained 16 ducats. Oh, shit. Seriously, bro, I could use your help. I really could use your help. Thank you. Holy crap, you suck. Let's just wipe out these guys while we can. There we are. Utterly obliterated them. No, Tarasan, if you could just do something, it'd be so great. Holy shit, that's a lot of guys. You know what? You can fucking deal with them. That is a lot of goddamn men. You know, I am actually gonna make them stick with me. We don't fuck anything up. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Stop that. Alright, we're just going to siege this down. There we are. Nice and easy. I think I'm going to set them to do independent now, because they're just being weird. Not acting very logically. I'd rather prefer if they did act logically. Da 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 da. Telepinek has declared war on mixed tech. It's a little bit weird. Hey, what you doing? What you doing there, buddy? Let's not do something we're gonna regret. Right? Okay. No need to try and hurt my friend. Yeah, that's good. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm yourself. We don't have to fight. We don't have to do anything like that. We can just chill. Twenty fourth, and we snipe. And there it is. The victory we've all been looking for. What 
are you doing? Not assault. Good God, man, what are you doing? Are they weird? Why are they? Oh, they being they were being attacked by the, they were being sallied. The new thing that they can sally. There we are. Crush them. Finish up those bad boys. Oh, that's like 230. Oops. The 1000 guy will go there. Not the weakest red guy there. Because what I just did there, to anyone who wants to know, is because the um, defending number is Garrison, is only 230. And it increases 130 a month. Pistol men they draft into their army, since it's so small. We'll just put a very small uh, regiment there, and they'll be able to hold it and siege it. Du -du -du. And now we go to utterly obliterate them once more. Now, I don't exactly like having my manpower completely obliterated. But each time they fight increases the chance this bloody air will die. And I'm just awesomely okay with that. Doing. Time to join in. Ooh, I can get uh, the next technology as well. Look at that. So this increases. This technology increases uh, proficiency by efficiency by ten percent. Production is ten point zero point nine nine. Let's see how much I get now. Not much more. Point one three, but that'll do. Excellent, Minister. Ah. Oh. Finally! We get the good events! Yes! Excellent is just a great event. 1 stability, 25 prestige, and 40 admin power. Done. Always want this for the best text. Army attrition and military power is not important. Stability, prestige, and admin power. Yes. And I can take the uh, religious sacrifices mission, which gives me reduction of stability cost and yearly prestige, which is really great. Ah! Fantastic. Hey, could you not though? And now we shall siege them. There we are. I wanted to get war reparations, but it seems like I'm gonna be able to. Why does Zappa take out oh, there? Weird. Ah, oh, fantastic. Now all I need is my heir to die. And I would be so happy. That'd be just fantastic. And I'm also going to annex these guys very soon. Wouldn't that be great? Just as soon as I can give them Kolima. I think I'll actually use that for the power projection. Can I give that? Can I get power projection from them still? Ooh. I cannot because they're not my. Next up to the Okay, that's fine. I will give them to Tadasan. Give that to Tanisan. Thank you, come again. Oof, yes. Look at that. Look how much territory we're gonna inherit. And now we will give I don't know, I want the power protection, but instead I'm gonna have to take that and take give that to Tarasan. So I'll take both these territories, please. Wait, what should I? Oh, I should want to get a tower, and I can't change it. Oh well. And you'll give me war reparations. Thank you. Beautiful. And we got the mission. 
beautiful. So we're just going to keep this province until we can do that little mission of claim our rival's province. Actually, no, we're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. Because we do not need it. Sell province. Wait, is the one we don't. It's the right one, isn't it? Yeah, it costs way too much to call. We only want it. No! They're overextended. Of course, because they haven't been able to. Oh, no! No! I'm going to have to core it! <sighs> Bloody hell. That was a mistake. I forgot about that. How frustrating. <sighs> Very stupid of me. Can I fabricate claim on you guys? What's my mission? Claim mixtech, fine. Oh, it's so annoying. What can I do now? I've got to just... I have to just suck it up. Oh man. These rebellions. Oh well. Well, at least now we can see how long until our next idea. 1480. Why is that so high? It's because of the stability we've had to do. I used to get a 14.78.6. Oh well. So as long as my king can survive for nine more years, we've got this. And in terms of annexing the vassal, it'll take a full decade. Good god. Okay. An actual full decade. That's fair enough. All right. I thought I had. I lost the. Uh... Oh, I have to wait till seventy-two. I'll do that. Wait. I'll wait till seventy-two. Third of March, seventy-two. But I think it might be best to do that and wait until uh, Westernization is time for Westernization because we have the tricky issue: the fact that these provinces are not bloody cored. So I'm gonna have to freaking core them because I'm an idiot because I didn't give them a channel. Uh So stupid of me. Oh well. So, yeah, it's now back to waiting. The reason, by the way, we do not, do not get diplomatic technology too, even though it gives us the ability to make ships, is because technologies are changed, but the cost of technology is changed by the percentage of ideas you put into it. I think you get two to, was it two or four percent you get for every point in idea, and then of course the first thing I'm going to do is put four groups into a diplomatic idea. So that would save, I think it's going to save about tw eight, 8 to 12 percent, I think it is. And those do add up, those points, points do really add up. We'll just wait and see. It's going to be great. And that's going to cost most of our diplo power. And then we have to save up for the third one, and we, sh we should get that just before we meet the bad guys, which should be ho which hopeful, you know, isn't too soon. Hopefully I don't need them for another 50 years, so I can get at least like 5 colonies out, 4 colonies out maybe. Right. Yeah. I think I might make it a short episode, because there isn't a lot now to do except for just, just endless waiting. Endless waiting. So I'm going to well end it here. My plans for the next 9 years, actually no, I'm going to wait and see. If uh, yeah, so I'm gonna wait and see if I can if it gets rid of the horrible malice. So wait till a third. Please, King, don't die. I beg of you. We're so close to our goal. If you can just live for nine more years, live to be 61. I love you forever. I'm just gonna wait for the third of March. 
I'm also going to need to clear wall pretty soon. So I can keep my power projection. Oh, I have to wait for the tick, monthly tick. Okay. Right, my diplomatic reputation is 2.76. See, that's a lot faster. Okay, so I could do that now. I could start annexing him, and I'd have it in six years, and I have all this territory. But then we'd have the incredibly, incredibly tricky issue of the fact that we then have to straight away start coring things. So I think I'll wait a couple years to do that, because I want to be able to have the admin points. So yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end the recording now. And I'm going to annex these guys in two years' time, because it takes six years. I wanted to end in... I'm doing three years' time, so I'm going to end in 1481. So I get the delicious manpower and men necessary to, co to colonize. Then... So I'm just going to wait. Annex them in two, three years, and wait. And I will have to declare war on Telepanek eventually. But I'm not, I don't know, I think I might just declare war on them, and then just, uh, when I bribe a quiche, and just humiliate. So I'm not even sure if I record that, because I'm just going to wait. It's going to be pretty boring. We're just going to just get humiliating reparations. Alright, so I was Aljun, I continue to be, and this has been European Universalis 4. Aztec Sunset Invasion. Goodbye.